Hey, everybody. This is Kyle Kramer, the executive director at the Earth and Spirit Center. And I'm joined today by Ken Phillips, who's going to be teaching a, a, one of the three courses uh, in our Interfaith Spirituality series this spring. Um, he, Ken will be teaching part two uh, on Cherokee history, uh, culture, spiritual beliefs, and practices. So, Ken, I know you have, um, you have deep connections in the in the Cherokee and Cherokee heritage. So hello and uh, welcome. And I'm wondering if you could could tell folks just a, a little bit about yourself and, and your Cherokee connections. Well, I'm, uh, I'm an enrolled member of the Eastern Band Cherokee in North Carolina. Uh, I'm half Cherokee. Uh, my father was a uh, full blood Cherokee and my mother was white. So I'm uh, also half Scotch Irish. I'm uh, the president and CEO of the uh, Kentucky Native American Heritage Museum, and I've been doing that since January 2005. Uh, I'm retired from the Army, um, and I'm also a, a trained Cherokee shaman. I've also studied with the Foundation for Shamanic Studies uh, out of California. But let's let's talk specifically about this course. So this is going to be a four-week course introducing folks to to Cherokee traditions. Uh, what what do you hope that that students can can get out of out of these four weeks with you? What 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 are you hoping we can learn? Well, what I'm hoping for is uh, understanding, um, especially in this day and time with uh, race relations being what they are in this country. I think it's it's more important than ever for uh, all the people to understand each other. Um, a lot of people don't know a whole lot about Native Americans. Uh, they lump us all together and they think we all have the same beliefs and the same culture. And uh, that's not true at all. Uh, you'll find that each nation has its own traditions, its own culture. Uh, even there are three federally recognized groups of uh, Cherokee. So there's uh, the Eastern Band in North Carolina. There's the uh, Cherokee Nation in uh, Tahlequah, Oklahoma. And uh, a reservation that adjoins them is the Katua. And all three of those groups uh, have uh, somewhat different traditions, somewhat different culture. Uh, the language, for instance, if you go to Oklahoma, uh, everything is pronounced uh, full words, uh, you know, very proper. Uh, if you go to the Eastern Band uh, uh, in North Carolina, you'll find that we're just like everybody else in that place. We shorten words and, and hyphenate sayings. And uh, so uh, it's, it's a lot different. And, uh, you know, we're the only tribe I can think of that, that uh, we do have things in common with. We have a lot of things in common with the Navajo, of all people. Uh, they're out west. And uh, but, uh, both, we are the only two uh, Native American groups that I know of that are matriarchal. Uh, okay. We have, we're a matriarchal society, which means mm -hmm. the women have a lot of rights and have always had a lot of rights. Um, down through our history, as a matter of fact, uh, the right to vote, uh, nobody knows when women didn't have the right to vote. As far as we know, they've always had the right to vote in our culture. Uh, and they're, they're, they're very honored mm. so what i'm hearing you say is so, uh, the big thing is, <laughs> sorry go ahead no the, the big thing is just uh, cultural diversity and understanding um if we understood each other better maybe we wouldn't have so many problems yeah, amen, amen to that. Well, I'm I'm so excited about this course, Ken. So so this is not generic native native spirituality. This is specific uh, learning around Cherokee traditions, uh, spiritual practices, and um, I think you talked about the uh, the War and Peace Council and various uh, healing and, and medicinal aspects to to Cherokee backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So there's you're going to pack yeah. a lot into these four weeks. And it's just very exciting for us. These will begin, um, these 90-minute uh, sessions will begin on Tuesday evenings from 7 to 8.30 p.m. beginning March 8th uh, through the rest of March. And we intend that these will be in person, although you'll probably be attending mostly by Zoom. And of course, COVID 
always throws uh, can can throw curveballs into those plans. But we're so excited, Ken, to have you as part of our interface spirituality series and uh, as as a new instructor with us, and just so excited about about you sharing some of of your background and heritage. Thank you.